Hi, welcome. Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing the fan on this Dell all-in-one desktop. So take a look at the back of the computer. This is where you can identify the model. And this is W23C or Dell Inspiron 7700 all-in-one desktop. All right, so the computer, um, pretty much this is the front of the computer. And then the back of the computer is slightly different in color. So if you can see that the color on the base is white and the back of the, uh, the plastic here is somewhat gray. So what I need to do is to pry it open. Um, there's no screw or whatsoever that is holding down the back cover. So all we have to do is just to uh, pry the back cover here open up. I'll be going in between the plastic uh, using a plastic prying tool and get it open. Then I'll show it to you on the side. At least you can see the uh, the side of the uh, the computer. Just a second. I try to use a little bit of a metal so I have a, a better leverage to pry it open. As you can see that in the corner of the plastic, it can be separated. So you need to open up that clipper, uh, separate those clipper and get it open. Okay, so once the back is open up, uh, it's gonna kind of look something like this if it opens up. And work your way around the corner and comes to the top of the, uh, the front of the, uh, uh, the front of the uh, computer. So show it to you just a second here. And that would be the top of the the, the, the top of the uh, the computer. So the whole thing is just pretty much a clip on. So all you have to do is just to pry it open. Once you have the pry open, we need to slide this thing out because the two handles are what do you call that? The stand. The two stand here is just to slide out on the gap to slide it away from you. Okay, so once that thing is removed, all we do see here is just a fan. And to get to the fan, you definitely need to open up the back cover here. So let's take a look what is in there. There's one screw here. I'm using a regular Phillips screwdriver, nothing uh, really fancy. Okay, I need to have a better Phillips screwdriver because the Phillips screwdriver, the screw is a lot bigger. So I need to have a bigger size to remove this. Okay. Let me see, is there a screw here? Okay, there are two more screws here on the top. Let's see if we can lift it straight up. So the thing just lift it straight up to remove it. And you can see that the internal part of the computer. All right, at this point, to remove the fan, we need to disconnect the fan cable. Just pull it straight up. And Phillips screwdriver. 
remove the three screws and remove the entire fan. Now, um, the fan here seems to be a bit dirty and I feel like the ball bearing is somewhat not smooth. When I spin it, it tried to stop on its own. Like you, you can feel like it, it wants to stop. So um, to get the replacement, all we have to do is look up for the part right here. I believe the part is CN01 TM P5, P6. I can't really see it. Uh, yeah, so that would be the model for this. Either that or uh, the one right here. My eyes are getting bad. So anyway, that is how you can replace the fan. Uh, let's jump right into the motherboard since I already uh, did a tear down here. Um, this is your hard drive. Okay, this is your M.2 2230, the small mini version of the M.2 SSD drive. You have two RAMs, uh, PC4, that is a DDR4 RAM, uh, it's 4 gigs and 4 gigs, so you have 8 gigs total, two slots, you can upgrade to 8 and 8, 16, or maybe 16 and 16 up to 32. Uh, you have a secondary slot here for your 2.5 inch hard drive, so if you're interested to install a SSD drive, you can technically install it right there. Uh, that's pretty much it for this model Dell Inspiron 7700. The model is W23C. Any question? Comment down below. And thanks for watching. I will read your comment and answer your questions. Or come to the website, email us at info at ubergeeks.biz. Bye now.